Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft console edition TU47 news update video. I'm back today with even more news from 4J in regards to the next big update. This also includes a super sneaky screenshot of the brand new tutorial mode, and I mean sneaky. Now if you guys do miss the old days when 4J used to send us plushy screenshots, then be sure to thumbs it up. Have you been around on Minecraft for that long? Anyway, following the news yesterday, a lot of you guys were asking 4J questions. How will this feature work in my old worlds? Will I get this feature in my old worlds? So basically, a lot of you, like me, have old worlds that you don't really want to lose, but you want the new features to be introduced. For example, when the last update came out, a lot of you were saying, hey Echo, will igloos be in my world if I haven't explored it? This is exactly the same for things such as the end. Now like you, me, IBX Toy Cat, Big B, we always are curious. IBX Toy Cat asked a question towards 4J yesterday that says, I wonder when 4J or Roger Carpenter can confirm whether there'll be a reset end option or you'll need to make a new world with a smiley face. So basically, resetting the end would rebirth the Ender Dragon along with introduce the end city, the end gate, and much more. Now, 4J were incredibly sneaky with this one, and they replied with this, saying, at IBX Toyka, at Roger Carpenter, now question mark with a winky face. Now, the image that 4J did send us is, of course, on PlayStation 4, and looking closely here, there's actually a few things we need to take away from this, at the top, we have Reset the Nether, which has been an option for an extremely long time. The reason why we have Reset the Nether option is because in old, old worlds, there was no Nether Fortresses. And then when Forger introduced Nether Fortresses, we needed to reset the Nether so everybody had a Nether Fortress to get with the skeleton scores to get the loot and much more. Below that, we have Reset the End. Reset the End will be an option in the next big update. It says, when enabled, the End world will be recreated with new end features, including end gateways, end cities, and chorus plants. So this means that you can actually reset your older worlds to get the newer features, which I think is a great thing from 4J. Something else that they've been extremely sneaky about is this. As you guys can see highlighted in the background, that is the brand new tutorial mode. A new tutorial mode is making its way to Minecraft console versions. And the specific thing that you can see is the elytra. So the elytra is the wings. So it confirms it even more that the elytra will be introduced. It confirms it even more that tutorial mode will be changing. And I'm really looking forward to a new tutorial mode. I'm kind of curious as to what inspires this tutorial mode. And I'm looking forward to 4J's newest screenshots and releases as the days and the weeks go by because you know they're going to do this. They're going to be even more sneaky. And this has to be one of the most sneakiest things they've done so far. Now, stepping away from the fresh news, going back to yesterday's screenshots, you guys have been really, really smart. After checking the comments on my video yesterday, you guys have kind of come to the conclusion that the combat update, the dual wielding, will definitely be introduced. Looking at this image here, there's actually a few things to take away from this. As you guys can see, in the hotbar, there is three different sets of arrows. Two of them will be new. This means whatever type of potion you can have, you can have it as an arrow as well. But the question is, which one are you firing in this hotbar? So basically, what I think 4J have done is they've disabled the combat uh, feature in this screenshot, taking the screenshot because they don't want to release it just yet or announce it just yet. So how it works is, normally if you're firing the arrow of, let's say, swiftness, you would have it in your hand and you'd have the bow in the other hand and then you fire it that way. Basically, it means you, you fire them in a specific order, the order that you want. So how, how would it work if they didn't do this? Would it mean that whatever arrow is on the left-hand side of the hotbar to the arrow means that's the arrow you're firing? Or does it just fire arrows in random orders? So this was very sneaky. And 4J have been very, very smart on what screenshots they want to share with us. But again, it's only early days. We're coming to the end of November, so December. A lot of people are going to be asking 4J, when is the update coming out? What new screenshots do you have available for us all? But that's the information I do have for you. I wanted to share it with you. It's been a while since I did multiple Minecraft console videos. So I'm really looking forward to this next update. It's the survival dream because I don't really play mini games that much. I really don't play creative that much. I'm a survivor. To me, Minecraft is to mine and survive. That's how I play it. So this is the update I've been waiting for for a long time. We have had a couple of updates this year. Only one mainly survivor related which was the, the 1.10 features. 
uh, Frostwalker mending, etc. But they weren't really big, massive changes. So this update is going to be huge, especially for fighting the Ender Dragon, going to the End Cities, and much more. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. If you missed the plushies, let me know which one your favorite plushie is. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time.